Welcome to Rocky Railway. My name is Kate, and I'm excited to be riding the rails with you this year. Things are going to be different this year, but you are going to still have a blast. Every time we get together for another day of VBS, make sure that you have your VBS supplies ready. They're labeled each day with a different number, and today is day one. Let's start our day with our first song. Try to follow the motions that the people are doing in the video. The name of our song is Your Power Will Pull Us Through. We are going to be singing this song a lot. We trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. You give us hope and life that's forever. You make us bold and we stand together. journey there's no looking back with jesus to lead us we're on the right track oh, 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 oh. wide open spaces for wide open eyes we're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, oh, oh. Spaces for wide open eyes. We're looking ahead for the next big surprise. Oh, 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 oh. We trust, we trust, we trust in you, Jesus. You're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting. Welcome back. Did you like that song? I'm imagining what it would be like to journey on a steam train through the wild, vast, beautiful Rocky Mountains. A long time ago, trains were the fastest way to travel when you had to go far or up a big hill. Not many people ride steam trains like this anymore. Steam trains get their power from the steam engine. Imagine a steam engine is a little bit like this tea kettle. When the water inside boils, it pushes steam through a hole, and it whistles. Pretty cool, huh? Inventors figured out a way to capture steam and turn it into power. Enough power for a train to pull thousands and thousands of pounds over tall, rocky mountains. Trains have the power to cross miles and miles of deserts, carrying things to people who need them. Maybe when you think of power, you think of superheroes who have superpowers. Or maybe the word power makes you think of someone with huge muscles. Stand up and show off your best weightlifter pose. Strong muscles and superpowers are things that we usually think of when we hear about power. 
but God has more power than either of those. God has the power to create mountains and oceans just by speaking. God has the power to love and forgive and comfort and heal. God is even more powerful than death. Jesus is God's very own son, and he has all that power too. Throughout VBS, we'll be talking about how we can trust Jesus' power to help us every single day. And in a couple of weeks, you'll hear about the life-saving power of Jesus' blood. Let's listen to another song called Power in the Blood. some commotion last night about a rock slide. That could be really bad. Maybe we can find someone here that could help us. Oh, maybe this guy knows. S excuse me, do you work here? Do I work here? Friend, I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. In fact, I don't just work on the trains, I drive the trains. Name's Cam Track and I'm an engineer here. Hi, I'm Sarah. <laughs> With a name like Cam Track, you must know a lot about trains. Yeah, well, when you love the trains like I do, they become part of you. Wow, that's pretty deep. Mm. But maybe you can help us. My friends and I heard something about a rock slide. You heard right. Last night, a bunch of huge boulders came tumbling down the mountain and landed right on the tracks. That's not good. No, and with the boulders where they are, the train can't move. We're stuck here. My crew and I were supposed to head down the mountain this morning, but we can't get out. Good thing I'm here to take care of it. You really think you're strong enough to lift a massive boulder? I don't think. I know. <laughs> okay, well, why don't you warm up with this rock right here? That little one right there? Easy, easy peasy. In fact, why don't you all take a step back just in case things go flying. All right, here we go. <laughs> one second. Oh. oh, it's useless. It's just too hard. It's funny you should mention that, Cam, because today we were learning that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. It could be taking a test at school or helping a sick family member, standing up to a bully, or even having to say bye to a friend and really going to miss them. What are you doing? We've already established I'm not that strong. None of us are strong on our own. But we have a friend who is, Jesus. Jesus is powerful in all ways. He can help us through anything, 
even the stuff that's hard for us on the inside. I know life can be hard sometimes, and it might feel really heavy, but Jesus is there to help us carry the load. Well, this Jesus guy sounds like a good person to have as a friend. Well, I should probably get back to my crew and figure out a way to fix this boulder problem. But uh, maybe Jesus can help me figure out the right idea on how to fix that too. Yeah, and when my friends and I are done here, we can come help you. Oh, that would be awesome. Thank you so much. I'll see you later. Each day we'll learn about a Bible point, an important truth from the Bible to remember. Today we'll explore how Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Say, trust Jesus. As you say that, reach up and pull down like you're pulling a train's whistle. We need to hang on to Jesus' power to pull us through when things get tough. The Bible says, for I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Christ is another name for Jesus. Jesus' power helps us do hard things trust Jesus. He gives us the strength we need to power through sadness or confusion or mad feelings. All week long, we'll get to know surprising Bible memory buddies who will help us remember our Bible points. All of our buddies are animals that you can find somewhere in the Rocky Mountains. Let's take a look. Hey there, friends. Glad you're all on board for a rambunctious week of faith and fun at Rocky Railway. I'm Ramsey, a bighorn sheep. Um, can you guess why? <laughs> okay, that was too easy. Check out these cool, curvy horns God gave me. Ram's horns can weigh up to 30 pounds. That's as much as some of our littlest preschool buddies. Wow! My horns have to be tough because we male sheep use them to keep other rams out of our territory. People who study rams say we can run into each other at 20 to 40 miles per hour. Bam! You can hear that sound for miles! Me and my herd hang out all over the majestic, massive Rocky Mountains. The Rocky Mountains rock! If you head up to find me, strap on your hiking boots. Sometimes my herd grazes in an alpine meadow. Cause that's where the good stuff is. Mm, wow, good. But the meadow makes us an easy target for predators. So we also like to climb way up those crazy cliffs. We sheep like it steep. Me and my family can hang out on a little teeny tiny ledge that's only a few inches wide. Animals like bears or coyotes can't bother us here. Whew! And check out the view! God made us just right for staying safe in those hard, rocky places. My hooves are split and have a rough skin on the bottom that grips tight to the rugged rocks. Plus, I've got excellent eyesight. No glasses for me! It may sound like climbing these cliffs and balancing on jagged ledges is hard to do, but God has given me everything I need to live here. Find food and my family safe. I've heard that you sometimes have to do hard things too. When there's a bully at school, maybe you feel like you're in a rough, rocky place. You may not be balanced on a cliff ledge like me, but maybe you have to balance homework, chores, sports, music, and friendships. That sounds hard. Hmm, maybe coming here today and making new friends even feels like a hard thing for you. But did you know you don't face those hard things alone? No way! Jesus is right beside you. Yep, even right now. He gives you his power to climb through those mountains of worry and get through any rough stuff you gotta do. The Bible powers you up with this truth. For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. That means you don't have to have your own power to do hard things. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. When you see Ramsey, remember that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Let's get ready for our next station, Bible Adventures. When people come to visit me, I want them to be comfortable. One way that happens is for guests to get to know one another better. 
Pause this video while you talk with your crew about something that comes easily to you. Maybe it's hard for other kids to dribble a basketball, but for you it's easy. Maybe music comes easily to you or math. As for me, jumping rope comes easy for me. What's something that's hard for you to do? We all have things that are hard for us to do. Jobs that seem too big to do or stuff that seems too complicated to even try. When you run into something like that, remember this. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. I can remember a time I had something hard to do. It was when I was seven years old. Ananias, what are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm hiding. Hiding from who? From everyone. Well, that is not going to work. Stand up and tell me what's going on. By the way, everyone, this is my friend, Ananias. Ananias, these are my new friends. Um, hi, new friends. I'm Ananias, but shh, don't tell anyone. So what exactly are you hiding from? Okay, so here's the deal. You've heard of Saul, right? Well, Saul is here in Damascus. And Saul wants to arrest anyone who loves Jesus. And Oh, so I guess I you, love Jesus. I guess you haven't heard that. Oh, what? That Saul saw Jesus speak to him in a vision? And, the, and that Saul fell on the ground and was blind? And, oh, and that Saul's friends brought him here to Damascus? Yeah, yeah, I heard all that. So why are you hiding? And why are you, are you wearing a mustache? It's a disguise. It's not working. Ow! Now you've blown my cover. Trust me, it wasn't working. Well, here's the deal. God came to me in a vision this morning. And God said, go to Straight Street and visit a man from Tarsus named Saul. Wow, I know, right? Wow. Saul, the same one who's arresting Christians all over the place, and I'm a Christian. And when Saul wakes up and he opens his eyes, you know who he's going to see? Me. Me. And this Saul, you know, the one who's taking rocks and throwing them at Christians, the same Saul, he's going to see me. The Saul who is arresting people and putting them in chains and taking them to prison, he's going to see me. The same Saul who, well, I don't know what he would do with this, but I don't want to find out. <laughs> Why would God ask me to do this hard thing? Maybe my new friends here know something you should probably need to know. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. Okay, but this is really hard. This is a super hard thing. And I'm afraid. I don't know if I can do it. Have you ever had something hard to do and you didn't know if you could do it or not? Well, sure I have, and my friends have too. We were just talking about it. It's easy to talk about trusting Jesus, but what does it really feel like to trust Jesus? Let's try something. All right, turn around. Okay. All right, I'm going to hold my arms out, and I want you to lean back into my arms. Wait a minute. Are you sure you can do this? I can. You're going to be fine. Trust me. Okay. We got this. All right. Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. <sighs> okay. See? Okay. Falling backward on purpose is hard. Is that how you're feeling about seeing Saul? Absolutely. That's exactly how I've been feeling. Earlier, we talked about some things you find hard to do, like math or somersaults. But I'm wondering if there's something hard happening in your life right now. Maybe you're worried about heading to a new school or you've had a fight with a friend and you wonder if you'll ever be friends again. Turn to pages 6 and 7 in your Tracking with Jesus Bible book. Pause the video and draw the hard thing you think of on a small piece of paper and then tape it over Saul's thought bubble. Dear God, 
give Ananias some courage as he goes out to meet Saul. Thank you for always being there for us so that when we have to face hard things, we don't have to face them alone. Okay. Here it goes. Well, you know what? I don't need to worry or be afraid because Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. What I just did for Ananias, you can do for people you know who have hard things to do. You can ask God to help them do hard things. Let's pray right now. Dear God, stand beside us when we are facing things that seem too big for us to handle alone. Help us always remember that Jesus' power helps us to do hard things. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, it sounds like you have to go. Thanks for visiting me today. And I hope that you'll come back next week, too, for another totally true Bible adventure. All right, let's get ready for Imagination Station. Welcome to Imagination Station. I'm so glad you're here. I can't wait to see what incredible things we'll discover about Jesus' power in the coming weeks. We are going to have so much fun together. But before we get started, I need to talk to you about something. Did you bring your imaginations today? That's fantastic! Come on over, make sure you bring that imagination. This is such a good thing because each day at Imagination Station, you'll get to be a part of fun activities and experiments that help us discover more about Jesus' power. And you'll get to use sciency fun gizmos every day. We'll get to our first activity very soon. Every day at Imagination Station, you'll get to answer a fun talk starter question. Are you ready for that question? Here's our first talk starter question. After I ask it, you're going to pause the video so you can think about your answer. Okay, here we go. How long does it take a baby bighorn sheep to be able to walk and climb as well as its mother is able to do it? Do you think it takes six weeks or just one day? Okay, are you ready for the answer? I need your help with the drum roll. Find a table. Drum roll, please. All right, a baby bighorn can walk and climb as well as its mother within just one day. Imagine that. I know it took me a lot longer to learn how to walk than one day. Now we're going to get to the hands-on stuff. Go ahead and take out your set of train tracks that was in your student resource kit for day one. And you're going to need another sheet of tracks for the Rocky warm-up. And here you will need your off-rail roller materials. This is called the off-rail roller, and these are the tracks that it's going to roll on. I'll show you how to build the roller. First, you want to take out the black roller piece. It's actually two parts. You're going to pull it apart, okay? There's a small side and a larger side. You're going to take your one rubber band and put it through the larger side. There's like a smaller hole here. You're going to put the rubber band through and pull it through the other end. And you're going to want to hold on to that. Then you're going to take the larger straw, and you're going to put it through the rubber band on the larger flat end and pull the rubber band tight so it's secure just like this. Then we're taking the other half of the black roller piece, and you're going to feed the rubber band through and pull it out of the small opening in the other end. Okay, I'm going to snap the pieces together. Hanging on to my rubber band, I'm going to put this small straw right here. All right, so we have a large straw end and a small straw end, okay? This thing does not do a whole lot as it is. It's missing something. It's missing the extra power. Our power in our lives is Jesus, and we need to give some power to this roller to help it do amazing things and overcome challenges. 
So what you do is you take this small straw and you're going to twist it. Okay, I'm giving it a good twist. And you're going to put it on your train tracks. And there it goes, down the train tracks. Today we are discovering that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. You know, sometimes we all have hard things to do, and we may not understand why, and we may not be able to control what's happening. Our lives may seem to be going in different directions. Let's see what that's like. Thank you so much for stopping by. I can't wait to see what kind of sciencey gizmos we'll get into learning about. Remember, Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. Next up, KidVid Cinema. My name is Dominic, and I'm almost 11 years old. Dominic lives with his mom, dad, grandma, and grandpa. He enjoys all kinds of hobbies, but one is his favorite. I like to build things. I also like karate a lot. I love karate because I get to really express myself and I get to have fun. And I also get to build character and build physical strength. Learning karate is hard work. Dominic practices up to three times a week. Plus, he practices at home with his dad. The hardest thing about karate is definitely a lot of push-ups, leg lifts, sit-ups. Dominic knows that he needs to trust Jesus when things get hard. There was this board breaking thing and I saw all the other kids break it with their palm right here, right here. Boom. It just didn't work out for me. Dominic failed to break the board with his hand, but he didn't give up. He continued to train and he asked Jesus to help him. And I said, I'm gonna break this board. It's an obstacle way, way and let me push through it. And ha! I broke it. Another part of karate is taking tests to earn new belts. Each belt color represents a new level. Earning a new belt is hard. I was very discouraged on the first day because I was afraid I wasn't gonna pass and that's what brought me down. The second day, I was feeling very, very discouraged, very, very, very sad. And I thought, I don't think I'm gonna pass this and I didn't. I failed, and I failed, and I failed. Finally got to the last day that I could possibly test, and I said, this isn't gonna be like those last times. I am going to pass it. I said, you know what, Jesus, Jesus can help me get through this. I'm just gonna pray to him today. I am gonna pass the test tomorrow, and I did. In the Bible, in the book of Philippians, chapter four, verse 13, it says, for I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. My three-day test, it was really hard. And Jesus helped me through that. I was nervous for it. If you're going through hard things, I suggest that all you need to do is just trust in God and he'll help you. Pray to God and he can get you through anything. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Welcome back. Each day, we'll wrap up our tremendous trip on the tracks with songs, smiles, and surprises. Every day at Rocky Wrap Up will be delightfully different. Let's listen and dance to Your Power Will Pull Us Through. Trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. You give us hope and life that's forever. You make us bold and we stand together.
Bighorn sheep like Ramsey are custom made to travel up steep mountains. When you see Ramsey, you can remember that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. To help you remember all of these important Bible points and verses, we have a special gift for you every single day, your very own Bible memory buddies. They're so cool, and there's even an app that you can have your parents download that lets you play a buddy game each day. You can punch out the buddy and put it on your lanyard. And at the end of BBS, you can use your buddies like this as game pieces to play a game that's in your Tracking with Jesus Bible book. How cool is that? Train crews have challenging jobs full of hard things. Every day, they haul cargo, keep passengers safe, fix broken trains, and make sure that trains arrive at their destinations on time. I found a trick train track challenge for us to try together. I wonder if it'll be easy or hard to do. Here's the challenge. There are three train tracks on this piece of paper. You had those in your resource kit. Pull the corners apart so that you have three separate tracks. Tearing paper? That sounds easy to do. Let's try it, but we'll do it all together. So listen up. Friends, I don't want you to try to the challenge quite yet. I'll count to three. Let's tear the tracks together. Ready? One, two, three, pull. Uh, okay, it didn't work. This challenge sounded easy, but it's actually harder than it looks. Think about something that you thought would be easy to do, but it turned out to be a hard thing. Once I tried to make a strawberry pie from scratch, got all the ingredients together and started making the dough, I thought I had it done right, but when it came out of the oven, the crust was as hard as a rock. Let's try this challenge again. And this time we're going to try it with a trick. No. No. <laughs> Let's try this challenge again. This time we are going to try it with a track tearing tip, because sometimes we need help to do something challenging. To help us get ready, let's shout out our Bible point. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. Okay, get the other set of train tracks. Here is the track tearing tip. Watch carefully. Put the middle part of the tracks in your mouth and then pull on the ends. 
Let's try it together. Put the paper in your mouth, and on the count of three, we'll pull the ends. Ready? One, two, three, pull. Hmm. Kind of worked. <laughs> sometimes doing hard things means that you have to do them more than once. And sometimes you need people around you who can help you out, the way that I gave you a track tearing tip. Jesus has the power to put just the right people in your life who can support you, guide you, and help you to do tough stuff. At Rocky Railway, Jesus put you here watching this BBS with your family, your crew, who help you and encourage you. Give each member of your crew a high five and say, I'm glad Jesus ch ch chose you for my crew. When we're friends with Jesus, he takes us to incredible places and shows us unbelievable things. God is right here with us always. Today you received a special gift to help you remember to look for evidence of God all around you your God sighting notebook. God sightings help us to watch for Jesus, his awesome power in everyday life. A God sighting could be a prayer, a hug from a parent, the sunshine, or a kind word from a friend. Write them down in your notebook every day. Once you spot some and write them in your notebook, ask your parent or grandparent or babysitter to share them with me. My email address is in the student resource pack. I would love to hear them. We have had a great first day at Rocky Railway. Thanks for celebrating Jesus' power with me. I can't wait until next week for another day of adventure, discovery, and excitement with all of you. Have a great week. Bye.